Advice coming from Paddy Maguire to be busy, and both have been busy little bees indeed. Russell, the southpaw, good left hand from him, though, following up that southpaw lead. Palmer undeterred, puts the head down, tries to bore Russell into a neutral corner. Palmer with that little bristling moustache which he's grown over the last month or so. Right and left from Russell, but with the open part of the glove, not scoring with that really. Again, as they tend to do in that last round, just tying each other, a little bit of holding going on in there. <laughs> and a little warning about heads, and I think it's a head that's caused a little nick now to the right hand side of Davy Larmer's eye. You can just see that there. There's a quite a bit of blood coming up, and indeed there's a lot of blood coming out of that cut. And the left shoulder of Hugh Russell is covered in blood. It's Davy Larmer's. It's come from the right eye of Davy Larmer, and that certainly looks quite nasty because it's much worse than the one that opened up right in the very first and second rounds. And Davy Larmer always susceptible to cuts. Now he's got a really serious one to contend with. And well, it would be tragic if this had to be stopped because of that. With a minute to go in the fourth round as Hugh Russell now boxing with increasing confidence because he realises that David Larmer is very badly cut above the right. Aye, and I think that might have been a head that did it. So a lot of work to be done at the end of this round by the Larmer corner. And Larmer's got about 30 seconds or so to survive this round before he lets his corner men attend to that rather nasty cut on the side of his right eye. That's it. <laughs> so coming up to the end of the fourth round, Davy Larmer cut in the right eye, boxing with a fair degree of desperation at the moment. Davy Larmer looks a little bit disconsolate as Paddy Maguire now with two cuts to contend with. That one doesn't look too bad. You can see that little slight nick. There's a little smear of Vaseline is really all that's required for that one. But the more serious one is the one on the other side of Davy Larmer's face. And that caused quite a free trickle of blood down the cheek of the challenger. <laughs> one-third of the scheduled 12 rounds of this fight gone into the fifth and anxious moments for both corners and already that little nick on the side of the right eye of Danny Larmer is showing signs of opening forward again the wrestling concentration written all over the face of Davy Larmer he knows that the longer this fight lasts the younger legs of Hugh Russell will be able to survive the better Larmer the right hand as the crowd rise to him about holding Thank you. 
first to David Arm and then to Hugh Russell about pulling the opponent in too close. Coming up to the last minute of this, the fifth round, and Russell perhaps just slightly ahead on points. They're mauling and fighting and brawling. There's not a lot of clean punching going on at the moment. Double there from Russell getting himself out of trouble as the cut opens up a little bit and Russell was caught with that one. And he was caught with the right hand. Harry Gibbs is giving him the count. A right hand then from David Armour. Up he gets. Up Russell gets the champion down. Into the final half minute. And Russell holding on desperately as Larmour tries to finish this. Russell dreadfully badly cut now underneath the right eye, which came from that hand of David Larmour. The left eye of Russell it is. The left eye of Russell. Coming up in the last 10 seconds of the fifth round, and have we got a fight here? Well, uh, Larmour coming forward, trying to stop that. They're both bleeding. What a round that was. For the second time in the fight, and definitely much more decisively this time, Hugh Russell caught a terrific right hand from Davy Larmour, and that certainly upset the champion. So it's now the turn of the Russell corner to worry and look at the blood coming out of that cut. The sixth round and the King's Hall really warming up to these little men. Both have been cut. Larmour in both eyes, and Russell underneath the left, and Larmour now trying to put his man away. Larmour, some 11 years older, probably slightly stronger, the head going in there, mind you. And a wee word from Harry Gibbs just to remind Jimmy Larmour about that. The little nick above his right eye has just opened up again. There's a lot of banging and heading in there. And a little bit in the low side from Davy Larmour and another little caution from Harry Gibbs. But back he comes again and catches Russell once again with that right hand. Russell now must retain his composure and another right hand from Davy Larmour and that caught the champion once again. And Russell just looks for the first time in his professional career a little bit wobbly. The champion that he is, back he comes. Larmour now missing Wiley, trying to end this, coming forward with the right hand. Russell moving out of the way of him. Again, the right hand going in from Russell, but it's... Once again, Russell walking into that right hand. Now the Lama can't feel that this fight certainly won't go the distance. The Russell will need to use all that nice footwork if he's going to stop it from finishing too early. Good hand from Russell, good punching from Russell. Lama cut now. Once again, in the right eye. Russell just circling, can't afford to be get, getting himself caught with that right hand of Davy Larmour's. So coming up to the end of the sixth round, coming up to the end of the midway point. And Hugh Russell has taken one or two fairly useful thumbs from Davy Larmour, whose face now is really a mask of blood because the cut round his left eye has opened up. And the little face of Davy Larmour is quite a mess, I can tell you. What another cracker of a round. <laughs>